NumPy, or numerical Python, is an invaluable Python package for data scientists. It is the fundamental package for scientific computing in Python and provides a number of benefits for writing efficient code. In this lesson, we'll highlight one of the most important advantages of NumPy, the NumPy Array. NumPy Arrays provide a fast and memory efficient alternative to Python lists. Typically, we import NumPy as np and use np.array to create a NumPy array. NumPy arrays are homogeneous, which means that they must contain elements of the same type. We can see the type of each element using the .dtype method. Suppose we created an array using a mixture of types. Here, we create the array nums np floats using the integers 1 and 3 and a float 2.5. Can you spot the difference in the output? The integers now have a preceding dot in the array. That's because NumPy converted the integers to floats to retain that array's homogeneous nature. Using dot dtype, we can verify that the elements in the array are floats. Homogeneity allows NumPy arrays to be more efficient and faster than Python lists. Requiring all elements be the same type eliminates the overhead needed for data type checking. When analyzing data, you'll often want to perform operations over entire collections of values quickly. Say, for example, you'd like to square each number within a list of numbers. It'd be nice if we could simply square the list and get a list of squared values returned. Unfortunately, Python lists don't support these types of calculations. We could square the values using a list by writing a for loop or using a list comprehension. But neither of these approaches is the most efficient way of doing this. Here lies the second advantage of NumPy arrays, their broadcasting functionality. NumPy arrays vectorize operations so that they are performed on all elements of an object at once. This allows us to efficiently perform calculations over entire arrays. Notice that by squaring the array nums np, all elements are squared at once. Another advantage of NumPy arrays is their indexing capabilities. When comparing basic indexing between a one-dimensional array and list, the capabilities are identical. When using two-dimensional arrays and lists, the advantages of arrays are clear. To return the second item of the first row in our two-dimensional object, the array syntax is square bracket 0, comma, 1, square bracket. The analogous list syntax is a bit more verbose as you have to surround both the 0 and the 1 with square brackets. To return the first column of values in our 2D object, the array syntax is square bracket, colon, comma, 0, square bracket. Lists don't support this type of syntax, so we must use a list comprehension to return columns. NumPy arrays also have a special technique called Boolean indexing. Suppose we wanted to gather only positive numbers from the sequence listed here. With an array, we can create a Boolean mask using a simple inequality. Indexing the array is as simple as enclosing this inequality in square brackets. To do this using a list, we need to write a for loop to filter the list. Or, use a list comprehension. In either case, using a NumPy array to index is less verbose and has a faster runtime. Now that we've covered powerful and efficient NumPy arrays, let's start putting what we've learned into practice.